Hello everyone, Fizgus here. Welcome to one other tutorial. In this one we will go over how to use the spice weapons, which are GPS guided munitions with gliding capabilities. This tutorial is valid for all the spice weapons we currently have in Falcon DMS, specifically Spice 1000 and Spice 2000, both for the high explosive and penetration versions of these munitions. This tutorial is not intended to be an extensive explanation about all the technical aspects of these weapons and their associated systems, but I believe that if you follow this tutorial, you'll be able to use these weapons effectively. Let's get into it. Before using these weapons, it is required to do some preparation in the 2D map. This is indispensable, as we will see later. These weapons cannot be used along with the TGP. Their configuration must be done in the 2D map. Otherwise, they are completely useless. Right-click on the target and click on Recon. When the Recon screen is visible, click on this drop-down menu and change from Steer Points to Weapon Targets. Once this is done, go to the target list and assign numbers to each target. Unlike what I usually do with JDAMs, I start with number 1 and so on. I do this because these numbers are in no way associated with your fly path and steer points. Finally, go to your data cartridge and confirm on the weapon targets that you have the correct target selected. Once you are done, click on save. Once you're inside the aircraft, go to air to ground mode. Then on the SMS page, power on the weapons. These weapons, unlike JDAMs for example, don't reference a center point of interest, SPI, like for example a steer point. This means they can't be used along with the TGP either, so their configuration is different from other GPS guided munitions. To configure spice weapons, go to list, then press 0 for miscellaneous, and then enter for spice. Considering what's currently implemented in BMS of these weapons, and what is relevant for basic usage of these weapons, I will only cover two specific fields, the weapon target ID and the station numbers. The weapon target ID is tied to whatever number you assign to a target on the 2D map. Using your ICP, double down and place your cursor on this field. Input the target ID number on it. For example, in this case, Target number 1 will be assigned to the weapon on station 3. Dauber down again and assign another target to the weapon on station 7. After doing this, as you can see on the SMS page, when you select the respective station, the target ID number and description will be shown. Once you're approaching the target area, go to Aero Ground Mode. The selected steer point, or whatever you might be looking at with the TGP, won't interfere with deploying spice weapons. As mentioned previously, they won't guide on a SPI, but rather guide on a target ID assigned to them. Try to maintain your flight path marker close to the azimuth steering line. Once the carrot is inside the DLZ, press and hold the weapon release button on your stick. Once the weapon is deployed, press and hold the weapon release button again to release the second weapon. And there we have it. Spice weapons are a great tool to employ larger warhead types in the 1000 and 2000 pound class against targets with greater standoff distance than what is possible with normal JDAMs. The downside of these weapons is that due to the way they are configured and employed, they can't be used against targets of opportunity. So try to make sure that you're using them against structures or other stationary targets. I hope this tutorial was helpful, thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one.